Jesus, when he came, he said, he has not brought peace, but he has brought a sword. Where a son will turn against his father. A tribe will turn against a tribe. Nation against a nation. So not until he comes back, that's when we shall see peace. But as of now, so long as he's not yet back, we have to prepare for war all the time. Therefore, Your Excellency, we shall keep on presenting to you, young people like these ones, to continue with the mission of keeping peace and security in our country. You must take this day very serious in your lives because it is not an ordinary day in your lives. What you need to remember in this journey which you are starting now. The journey, like me, I started it 37 years ago. 37 years from now, for you, will be 20 skiste. Ask yourself, what will you be by 20 skiste? For me, after 37 years, I'm a lieutenant general, and I'm a deputy CDF, but also a member of parliament. What about you? As you start your journey. You need to take note of this. One, the army is not a job. If you came looking for a job in the military, this is not a job. It is a service. A service to our people. And a service that demands sacrifice at all times. Remove anything called job in whatever you have started today. Because there is nobody who can pay for your life. Nobody in this world can pay for your life. You have decided to give your lives for the people of Uganda. Not only Uganda, but of Africa and the world. Please remember that. Then you will be able to walk like me for 37 years without any problems. Two, run away from the desires of this world. Run away from the desires of your body, your flesh. Women, drinking, soft life, vehicles, what? Riches. Run away from them because they will lead you to disgrace and at worst, death. Focus on your calling because the military is a calling. Focus on your job. That's what you must focus on. Forget about these other things. You will get whatever you deserve to get. Don't go for what is not yours. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. The other thing that you need to take note, respect the civilians. For it is the reason we are serving. Without them, we are as good as useless. We must serve them diligently and with humility. The other thing, maintain both military and personal discipline. For that is where your future lies. It's about your discipline, personal and military. When you focus on that, you will be able to live a long life. Thank you.